Salamander Survivor, School Mascot Swallows Marble and Lives to Tell the Tale and Teach Students, by Dave Carey of the Sun-Herald. After Tiger stopped eating about six weeks ago, the students in Tammy Gibbs' class at Hope Academy knew something was wrong with their striped pet salamander. A swollen belly led a few of the, th- few of the fourth through eighth graders to wonder if Tiger had done the unthinkable, swallowed one of the decorative marbles at the bottom of the tank. When somebody said he swallowed one of them, we thought there's no way he could have, said Mark Gibbs, the pastor of the school's affiliated Harvest Fellowship Church. Sure enough, an x-ray by social veterinarian James Askew showed that a marble had indeed gotten wedged inside the tiger's belly. Although Askew poured through veterinary journals trying to find reports of gastronomy procedures performed on salamanders, his search came up empty. With precious time, to lose, Askew improvised a two and a half hour surgery on Tiger, making a small incision in the, in the nine inch salamander's abdomen, removing the marble and stitching up the patient. We walked out of surgery going, oh my God, we've done it, said Askew, a partner at the Social Veterinary Clinic and founder of the Threatened and Endangered Animal Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. After five weeks of convalescence, Tiger was personally delivered to Ms. Gibbs' class by Askew, who wanted to be part of the amphibian's homecoming. I think I was personally blessed by at least 20 children, Askew said. It was actually a very great moment for me. For the Hope Academy students, Tiger's recovery was the answer to their collective prayers. It's a miracle, said Zach Williams, 11 years old. We prayed every day that she would make it, and she made it, said Victoria King, 12. Tiger's time at the veterinary clinic had led to a new classifying of the pet's gender at the discovery of ovaries meant that students would have to start referring to Tiger previously presumed to be a male as she. The proof of Tiger's recovery was evident in her newfound passion for eating live fishing worms. It's awesome. She slurps it like spaghetti, said Bobby Redmond 12, as Tiger bobbed her head from side to side while chewing up a worm. The class gathered around Tiger's tank to share the moment Teacher Tammy Gibbs believes that Tiger Saga has been a valuable learning experience. Some of the children are now interested in becoming veterinarians or marine biologists, she said. As we learned that God answers prayers, Tiger, a member of the Tiger Salamander family, estimated to be nearly two years old, stands a chance to reach its potential life expectancy of 15 to 20 years, Askew says. Wow. The proof of Tiger's recovery was evident in her newfound passion for eating live fishing worms. It's awesome. She slurps it like spaghetti. These are some of the headlines under the pictures. Tiger Salamander is the mascot for the students at Hope Academy in Diablerville. Actually, they named it after the school's mascot, which is actually a tiger. Um, what else does it say here? The marble outside, tiger above, inside, through an x-ray. Oh, they're showing a picture of the... Uh, um, that you'll actually see here in a minute on this video of the tiger, t- the, the marble sitting on Tiger's belly. <clears throat> anyway, this is one of those really cool cases. Um, I uh, just wanted to share and uh, let people know that this is uh, one of those awesome things that we can do as veterinarians. And even though it might not be written up in a book, even though no one has taught you this in class, it doesn't mean that with our ability to learn, and our ability to teach that we can't find that middle ground and do. Thanks, Tiger. That was a great lesson.